Rebecca with LectinFree.me and I don't know about you but every time I start a new eating plan I want to know what I should eat. So I wanted to talk to you today about lectin free foods. Eating lectin free is relatively simple. It's not easy but it's definitely simple. So there's only five categories of foods that you eat when you're eating lectin free. And I'm sure most of these won't come as any surprise to you. If you stick to eating these foods, they will help you feel healthy and happy, quite frankly, because the healthier you are, the happier you are. At least that's been the case for me. So here's my disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist and I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what I've learned from my research and what I have found that has worked for me and for my husband. What do you eat when you're eating lectin free? Okay, the number one lectin free food are fresh vegetables. And not just any fresh vegetables. So fresh vegetables in the leafy green category and the herb category. Not why I'm saying category, but anyway, you know what I mean. Anything in the cruciferous family and your root vegetables. And you probably have to eat a whole lot more vegetables than you could ever dream of. I probably eat at least 20 ounces of vegetables on a daily basis. That's a lot of vegetables, people. We're talking big bowls of them if you weigh them out, which I do. So lots of fresh vegetables and you want them to be organic if at all possible. And if not, please wash them. <laughs> Get as many chemicals off of them as you can. But uh, or organic really is the best, especially if you're eating the leafy greens where the green, you know, leaves, they soak up everything. That's their job, right? And then the stuff that's playing on the ground, it comes up through the root system and it's in the plant. So homegrown's best. Local is good, but your organic is going to be the best if you can't grow your own. The second most important lectin-free food are good fats. These are going to be anything in the nut category, which you need to make sure you don't overeat your nuts. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Avocados. Avocados are your friend. Eat as much avocado as you want. I don't care what your doctor says. <laughs> Eat your avocados. My doctor actually says, have you been eating lots of avocados? Because my blood work is that good. Yes, avocados are your friend. Olive oil. Olive oil is another good fat. Plenty, plenty of olive oil. And there are many other good fats, but those are probably my top my top three. Avocados, olive oil, and nuts. And the third most important lectin-free food are, is protein. So protein comes in many forms. It can be grass-fed or pastured or probably your best too, but you can also get protein from mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. My husband loves mushrooms. I'm working on mushrooms. I'm not a big fan. If you guys have any mushroom tips, yeah, leave them down in the comments below because I'm trying to like them, but they're not my friend. And the fourth type of lectin-free food are resistant starches. Now, resistant starches are starches that actually feed your gut bacteria. They're not starches that like hang out in your stomach and help you gain weight. These are mainly your root vegetables and a couple of whole free grains. No whole, no lectins, so you can eat them. And the last lectin free food is fresh fruit. Now fresh fruit is preferably locally grown, preferably in season, preferably organic. But do the best you can. I personally have found that if I buy frozen organic berries, because they have a little bit less sugar content than some of these other things, 
that those do best for me and I can just take them out and let them defrost a little bit or make a smoothie with them and that works for me. So that's kind of an overview of lectin free foods. We've got your most important are your fresh vegetables followed by good fats, small amount of protein, resistant starches to feed your gut bacteria, and a small amount of fresh fruit. So I hope that helps you out. I'm going to do several other videos in this series and kind of go into a little more depth on what to eat in each of these categories. So look for those videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notifications so you get my videos when they come out and YouTube says, hey, Lectin Free Me has a new video, hit that little bell button right there. And as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you very much and good luck on your Lectin Free journey.